Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, welcome, beautiful humans, too. We are in the energy of the full moon in Pisces, which is fast brewing. I am Rosie Glow. I am currently live on the Starpiece Facebook page, and you will also find this on YouTube. So I'm going to start with an energy update, and then this will follow with our light language transmission, world service, personal healing, and co creation. And what I will say, is these energies presently are really bringing us into the opportunity to fully connect with our soul consciousness and allow ourselves to be led by this part of us. So this is the theme of the new moon in Virgo. I am the author of my own story and also the theme in uh, in the full moon in Pisces. I am co-creating the highest good. That means putting your soul in control. I'm going to talk a little bit to that. So anyone who doesn't know me, I am Rosanna Rosie Glow Hannis. I am a channel of divine grace and I work with creatives, with star seeds, with emotional, um, emotional empaths to activate the soul consciousness. So if you're liking the resonance of what's going on, please do join the Facebook page, Star Peace Seeding the New Earth Narrative. And please do also like and subscribe and hit the notifications tab of this video on YouTube. This way we spread the message of star peace in the world when it is very much required. So starting with this energy update, just whilst I am chatting, um, I always start these co-creations with a cup of ceremonial grade cacao. But whatever drink you have, um, whether it's water, whether it's a cup of your favourite tea, we're going to bless it first and just very quickly activate our energy field so we're in the presence of receiving the frequency codes of of star peace and the energy of divine grace which is the power of revelation this is important before we go into the co-creation because lots of things are going to go ping 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 as we do so also it's really helpful to have your favorite crystals nearby um, and if you have a notebook and you want to make notes I find that really useful. Another little trick is to have your phone nearby so you can do an audio recording of this and the co-creation if you wish. And that way you can just listen to it whenever you want. So that's the preamble. Let's get going with a little bit of our blessings. We're going to rub our hands together, have a little shake. I'm a little disheveled because I've just come back from <laughs> Camp Wildfire Festival, which I've been talking about on Facebook. Oh my goodness, was that loads of fun. So if you want to check those posts out, it's great. Uh, I'm yet to wash my hair. <laughs> so now bringing your cacao or your drink up to your heart and you can actually bring both hands around your drink for a moment. If you don't have a drink, then please just bring your hands to your heart center. And take a moment to close your eyes and receive your breath as the source of all that is being breathed into you. Allow yourself to receive you, your fullness, all that is. And as you breathe out, send this down your body, up your body, down your arms, out from your heart, front and back. And feel that. Let's do that twice more. Breathing into the fullness of your being. Allowing the mind to chill out and bringing your attention to your heart. And from your heart, sending this breath down and up the body, down the arms, front and back of the heart. One more of these, all together, connecting to our soul tribe, our star family. And a nice big sigh with this one. Ah. Beautiful. So now with your nose, draw a circle in the air in front of you, creating the container we're going to step into our sphere of compassion. Go the other way. And know that this is a portal that holds all of your frequency codes and connects us to each other. So now we'll draw the nose up and down, establishing our connection between source and Gaia. And then bring the chin neutral, inhale. And turn your head to the left, just exhaling acceptance of the past, forgiveness of the past, letting go of all that no longer serves you. Breathing into the present moment as you bring your chin neutral. And now exhaling to the right. And breathing into the future, that acceptance, the positive anticipation and the excitement of what is yet to come. I am the author of my story. I am co-creating the highest good. 
Now bring the chin to the center again, drop your chin to your heart and invite the smile in your heart to find you. And as you do, there's this beautiful saying that Keith Wilson of um, Cacao Love says, which is go to glow. Literally imagine your heart lighting up all the 100 trillion cells of your body, your being, so that you're glowing from the inside. And now step into that sphere we created. Just allow that sphere to expand as big as it needs to be. Inviting your soul family, star family, guides, teachers of the purest vibrations of love and light, our angels, archangels, all the beings that are here to support our ascension into this space, inviting grace in, and I'm now connecting with Mama Cacao, the spirit of balance and harmony, of pure compassion. And I'm inviting the purification of the liquid that we consume, filling it with the vibration of acceptance, of internal authority, of divine grace, of miracles and magic wherever we need them most in our lives. And also the willingness to be accountable, transparent, in integrity, discerning, compassionate and forgiving towards ourselves so we can also be this for others. A shining example of divine leadership. We'll just quickly call in our I am presence. I am all that is. I am the one self I am. I am that I am. I am the source of my creation. I am the creator of my reality. I am a multidimensional being of love and light. I am the creation. I am that I am. I'm inviting you to open yourself up to the star peace codes, the divine matrix codes. The rosy glow galaxy codes. We are the star peace map, my friends. We're activating our internal mastery as we remember what we already knew. I can feel this bubbling anticipation. So I'm just transmitting that to each of you now. The beautiful feeling of excitement and collaboration sense of tribe so I just really want to amplify that you belong here welcome 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 okay and then gently open your eyes and slowly come back welcome all righty so I'll try and keep this little update brief I invite you to make some notes obviously you will be able to uh, listen back and just drink consume your drink whatever it is that you've got now, um, there was something I wanted to say, but I've forgotten. So I'm just going to go into the concept of this particular um, time where we are. So in terms of the, the energy update, we've come into, so if you think about where we were at the end of August, we had these really strong, powerful energies coming through from the end of July through to August, which were the Lionsgate portal energies. And when that happens, for me, it's like I'm receiving the transmission codes for the next year, what I'm here to see the next year. It's a very powerful and intense time. And then as that portal closes around the 12th, 13th of August, you start to feel a bit of a dive down because the energies have been so potent, right? So us learning to manage our frequencies is super important. And whereas we have in, in Leo, you know, I am my own authority. I am, I am me, you know, I'm all about what I want and I'm shining my light in the world. When we come into Virgo, it's the energy of, right, now, here's what we need to do. This is the conscious mind alignment. This is the structures we need to put in place. These are the actions we're going to need to take to get us from where we are to where we want to be. So in claiming that we are the author of our own story, this is actually the choice of the conscious co-creator. It is the choice of moving into 5D consciousness, where we have no one to blame anymore. 
There's no more giving our power away to others and blaming the government, blaming the institutions, blaming, you know, the health system, blaming whatever it is that we want to blame. It's about us going, all right, I see the problem. I want to be part of the solution. And the way that I am part of that solution is to be in the vibration of alignment of what I want to see more of in the world. So you clean up your own backyard first. That's the key. Your energy shifts. And as a result of that, what ends up happening is we move into the energy of basically being able to transmit what we would like others to connect with. And if they're open to it, they do. So I like to explain the, the Virgo and the Pisces axis, <clears throat> which is my axis as well. It's my north and south node axis of the kind of microcosm, the Virgo energy, which is all about the little details. And then the Pisces full moon is actually the, the macrocosm. It's seeing things from the bigger picture. So those of you who've already worked with us in our coaching programs know that this is the rainbow gem, which is taking the step back, taking the step up and seeing the bird's eye view. So the intention that we set with the new moon, I am the author of my own story, then leads to the resistance we need to clear up with the next full moon, which is I am co-creating the highest good. Now, to simplify this, imagine that Pisces is kind of like the end of the journey, if you like, of the soul. If, let's say you've come 12 times to the earth. Obviously, it'll be many more times than that and other places. You come to the point that you can appreciate everything from the multiple perspectives, the multidimensional perspectives that exist. And as a result of that, it's very difficult to go, well, this is right and this is wrong. We move out of duality where we can actually perceive in every situation the different points of view and then say, what's for the highest good of all? What is the win-win-win? And this is where when we command, I am co-creating the highest good, we are choosing to silence all the other voices in our consciousness and just tune in to our soul frequency, to our higher self. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit in a moment about Fearless 2.0 because I'm inviting you all into it. This is something phenomenal and I, I just want to get it right. So I've written it down so you can get all the details that you need. I'm going to ask you just to open your hearts to listen to it, even if you're like, I don't think this is for me because there's so much coding in what I've written there that it's going to really support the co-creation, the light language transmission and everything else that we do as we do that. So we've said that in this particular time zone where we are with this energy in the Pisces full moon it's all about healing expectations and judgment duality tells us one thing is right and tells us another thing is wrong that's the old world we're elevating beyond duality beyond trying to find solutions with the mind to dropping into the heart center which is where we can access our soul consciousness so as we wrote in the email you know when we claim we are the author we also have to surrender to the highest good of all we cannot force our will to play things out in our own way. This would be abusing our power. So to be a conscious co-creator of your reality means if you do not intend to align every desire you have with the highest good of all and the win-win-win, that is the surrender, right? Then the likelihood is your programming, your ego programming, your wounded self, your pain body is trying to kick in and control things again, pretending that it hasn't got that intention because our programming always seeks to take us back to what we know and avoid what we don't know because what we don't know is scary. So for those of you who identify with having had past lives or maybe you have regrets in this life for things that you have done in the past, the whole thing is us understanding every one of us has abused our power at some point in, in, in the past. You don't get to be a saint without being a sinner first. We can't ascend and have compassion for all humanity or for all sentient beings, if we haven't actually, first of all, seen what's possible, both the light and the dark, and being able to find the forgiveness in ourselves for all that is, choosing the best possible path we can for ourselves. So when we are aligning in this earthly plane with making a choice to actually co-create our reality consciously, to become sovereign, to choose our own internal authority over giving our power away to the external because we're scared of taking the responsibility. That's when we get to be divine humans walking this earth. We are then ascended masters in training. And, you know, that's what excites me most about those of you who have joined my community, because 
we're all masters already, okay? We have already done this work before. We've come to this earth now to actually support the ascension of humanity. It is now the time for every seed that we have planted and all the other lifetimes and all the other places that we have existed in our consciousness to actually get going. It's like the fireworks are ready for the big show. They were in a corridor, the age of Pisces, we've just moved out of, we're in the corridor of the age of Aquarius, which started 2012 to 2032. So now as we move into 2023, which isn't very far away, we're kind of on, on the bit going home, right? Things will speed up and get easier and easier and easier as we take control and we put our soul in control. So I'm going to give you a little heads up in terms of the way that I work with my coaching. I have six C's, six co-creation steps, six divine leadership pillars. You know, understanding the concept of um, divine architecture means also understanding basically sacred geometry and understanding how the structure of this earth, how our universe works. And our light body, which I talk about when we go into the co-creation, is initially when we light it up a six-pointed star. But as we integrate the different aspects of our masculine, feminine and childhood woundings, we then create a light body that's like a diamond shape. It's like the a pack of cards because the two um, equilateral triangles separate and their bases unite. So depending on what you see in your inner eye, what ends up happening is you may find you flicker between a star shape and a diamond shape. But the process that I take people through when I activate their soul consciousness and integrate their human and divine selves is called Fearless, Loved Up and Free to Be Me. And this is a program upgrade. But before I go into that, and I will be as brief as I can, we are actually shifting it because it started 10 years ago. All right. Some of the videos that I made that are part of this actual course, which is amazingly life changing, were made in 2012. Right. And I have come along exponentially. Any of you have watched my journey and you know, I went from single and all sorts of things. I'll tell you in a sec to really living my best life now and developing and expanding that and teaching others how to do it. And basically, a lot of structures have come to me. I didn't know I was a channel of divine grace when I first found out my soul name was Rosie Glow. I didn't know I was a galactic consciousness. I didn't know I was a map for star peace to move us out of the energy of conflict into resolution. <laughs> that all came slowly because otherwise my whole being would have probably exploded. But the structures that I now have are where I'm leading from in the invitation for those of you who are ready to actually embark on this journey. So let me explain the journey to you briefly. Please just take a moment, get yourself comfortable. If you need to stretch a little bit, that's fine. But give yourself the time to hear this because if it's resonating, you'll know it in your heart. So it's basically how we get from I am the author of my own story, claiming that to I am choosing to co-create the highest good. This is about putting your soul in control. Now, the six pillars I mentioned to you, the first one is I am putting my soul in control. So the six co-creation steps, I am putting my soul in control. The last one is I am surrendering control to my soul. And there is quite a difference between the two. So this is a platform upgrade from being fueled by adrenaline to being fueled by oxytocin. This is how we create the highest good. It is an invitation to shift all the areas in your life that currently seem to be a struggle to bringing them into alignment with thriving. This is the shift from being controlled by the fear matrix. There are plenty of movies that explain the matrix to being liberated by the divine matrix. And it's about resetting our foundations to thrive rather than survive. And by foundations, I mean our earliest programming and nervous system wiring, which begins from before we are even born. OK, it's before we're even conceived. All right. In terms of the egg and the sperm that is ready to actually create you. The majority of the structures are laid down during our time in the womb, our birth and our earliest life experiences. Now, I've been working with early influences myself for the last 22 years. It all got instigated through the conception and the gestation and birth of my daughter and going from a yoga teacher to a specialist women's yoga teacher and then an, um, a birth educator and then doing lots of work around pre-birth influences to then be able to do this pre-birth decoding that I do. And this is about bringing symptomatic relief and getting to the root cause of the issues we experience in life that we just can't seem to change, be they relationships, money, health, career and soul purpose. So 
I'd invite you at this point to write a question down. What are the areas of my life that I just can't seem to shift? No matter how many books I read, how many courses I go on, how many YouTube videos I, I, I watch, how many I am statements I put in action, where is it that I just keep getting stuck? Really important. You are a master in that area, by the way, but you've got to remember your mastery. And that's what this course is about. I've spent the last 10 years refining and fine tuning the tools that correlate, that created the first version of this program, Fearless, Empowered and Free to Be Me. This is the program that got me from struggling to make ends meet, constantly motivated by stress, fear, and what else could go wrong in my life. I was constantly firefighting, always attracting Mr. Wrong, being in unhappy relationships, wondering if this is it and do I need to settle, having, having a very troublesome relationship with my daughter. She went through a really tough time herself with depression and all sorts of stuff and later got diagnosed with ADHD, spending my life trying to help others whilst having forgotten to prioritise helping and valuing myself, to taking the leap of faith to move to where my heart longed to live, and that was to come down to Brighton, start a new business, which was Rosie Glow, I used to have Enjoy Yoga, meeting and marrying my sacred union partner who was married when I met him to an alcoholic. There was a whole story there. It took us four years to actually get together. So it wasn't instant. We both had to shift and become the version of ourselves that could actually be together. Um, coming off housing benefit, tax credits and out of rented accommodation to living in my own mortgage free house, hitting my first 10K a month target, then doubling that and then experiencing my first 20K week ending up featured in Forbes, Authority Magazine, Influensif, and being recognised as one of 2022's most inspiring women, alongside Matthew McConaughey's wife, Camilla, and starting my own movement called Star Peace. And if you haven't checked it out yet, please do go to starpeaceconsciousness.com to find out more about it. It's free, it's for all of us, and it's for us to basically create the new world together. And we do it through what we watch, what we listen to, what we consume as entertainment and media. It's very simple, very clever. This is just some of what's happened. The key is my fuel and wiring has shifted from being adrenaline to oxytocin dominant. Because we found again and again that our clients experience profound shifts in their relationship with self and their romantic relationships. This was like one of the most consistent shifts I kept seeing. And obviously, because I'd found my sacred union, I shifted the name to fearless, loved up and free to be me. Same course. We have seen clients our clients through Rosy Glow double their salary, 10K their income. So depending on whether you're employed or self-employed, this is where the difference is. Have the courage to leave toxic and abusive relationships, attract sacred union love, get married, get have babies where they couldn't have babies before, get clear on their soul calling and start living it, find the house of their dreams, heal family karma drama, relationships with children, parents and siblings. That's why I can't say this is a money course or a love course. It's a foundation platform course. It's the things that don't work, being unplugged and then plugging in what does work. So please consider this again in the context of this energy update. I am the author of my own story. I am co-creating the highest good. This is the journey of doing that and how you actually get there. I'm telling you the what, I can't tell you the how. So why am I upgrading the program? Well, <laughs> where we've got to here is letting go of old connections. The clients that I, I witnessed in their success were letting go of old connections that drain them and don't serve them and attracting a whole new soul tribe. Many of them are RISE members, which is our community. Balance their inner masculine and feminine. Heal their inner family so their inner child creates from love rather than fear. Activate their soul frequency and extrasensory perception gifts. Learn to channel, speak light language, trust their intuition and unplug from giving their power away to external authority and choose their own inner authority as their life compass. So why is it that I'm upgrading the program? Well, we're living in a world of overload. You know, I don't know about you, but like I'm constantly bombarded by new courses, by lots of adverts, promising me this, promising me that. I have spent a lot of money, probably a hundred grand now in the last 10 years, certainly a lot in the last few, trying things out because this is part of the process, right? To see what does work for me and what doesn't. To find that the, the assurances I was given didn't add up. And here's why. I was going to people that weren't soul activated. I was going to people that were operating from a different platform to me and they can't give me what I need. If you are a magical being, you need to work with magical beings. You also need to work with magical beings that have cleared their own shit so they can support you with yours. Right. So this has been really important. It's been one of the foundational reasons where I was like, OK, what have we got here? What do we need here? 
Let's strip away the superfluous. Let's just give the processes. Let's just give the absolute essentials that we can repeat again and again and again, because it's repetition that's key that will get us off the old platform into the new one. Um, I have found that my, um, blah, 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 blah. I have found many times that obviously what I've wanted um, to, to have as a change in my life hasn't actually been that. And I'm a person of integrity. So if I say I can deliver something, I do everything to deliver that. OK, I don't want to sell you something and then you find that you didn't have the, the results that you want. There is something very important here, though. You have to show up and do the work and you will know when you're not in alignment with what you say you want. One of the key things is accountability. These are the six pillars. I won't go into them now, but we explain all of it. And it's very important to know that we will help you see what you need to see. You can resist it. You can argue against it. That's your free will. But we can definitely show you where you need to shine your light into your own shadow and bring love to it. That's what we promise. So it's time to strip it all away. And I am basically focusing on the processes and the maps that I've seen work again and again to build the bridge from the old world into the new one. This is the story we want to live, not the one we inherited, because we're all living our ancestors' stories until we choose to make a consistent shift into our own story. So I've streamlined everything and bringing it into the energy of now, delivering it from the potency and impact of my current soul consciousness in 2022. That's 10 years on, right? So I'm only sharing what I think is absolutely essential. I'm going to be offering it live. So those of you who actually do join us at the end of September, which is the invitation, we're going to run for six months instead of four. We're going to run with my coaches supporting this as well as me leading it so that you've got our whole team of experts. And, you know, I've got, you know, trauma experts. I've got physical grounding and um, creating the space for grace experts. I've got me as a soul activator. There's so much support. OK, what I want to say is, can you line yourself up with inevitable success? This is the other element of co-creating. Yeah, the highest good is aligning with inevitable success. So you ask yourself the question, what is your life like and what do you want it to be like? There's another question to write down before we go into our co-creation. This is the journey. It's soul and human integration. It's divine human leadership. It is all about living by example. I've got 22, 22 years of experience in what I do. There's no point in me doing everything. My job is to do what no one else can do and to empower others to do what they're here to do. We all have our own special source. And I want to inspire in you, as I'm talking about this course, a desire to stop doing the stuff that you think you have to do and to start doing the things you really want to do. Yes, there's effort involved everywhere, but there is a difference between choosing the hard path because of the lessons that you're going to learn from it and actually deciding to choose the easy path. The easy path is still going to have challenges. You're still going to have to trigger adrenaline at times to get things going. But by setting yourself up to align with grace and ease and joy, that's what you're starting to bring forward. So it is the same uh, journey that I take my one-to-one -one clients through. My one-to-one -one clients are leaders. They're creatives. They're high profilers. They don't want, you know, to have to go through all the course content, et cetera. It gets delivered to them at a considerable cost in comparison to what this cost of this course is. It's at least six to ten times the cost, depending on what I'm actually doing with them. So, you know, this is the invitation for the whole world to upgrade their platform. I want it for everyone. We've also invested in an app. So we're going to be moving everything onto an app. So it's really easy to be able to stay in this vibration. Because here's where I see others go wrong. We can do cellular memory reprogramming. We can create new beliefs. We can say I am statements. We can do a bit of yoga. We can do a bit of physical therapy, whatever. But if you don't actually do all these things together, then you're just chipping away at bits and you're never really getting to the depth. You need symptomatic and causal relief tools. Okay, you need the symptomatic relief tools to be able to deal with the discomfort of then looking at the root cause of what's going on, repatterning, reprogramming, and then testing the new system to clear the bugs in the system. Because it's the maintenance and the practice that allows you to stay in a higher vibration. The world around us is still in a lower density. So we need to be properly plugged down, root down to rise up. And when we're plugged in in this way, we shine our light in such a way that we dissipate the density. Imagine more and more of us doing that. That's how we raise the frequency of the whole planet. So I'm basically inviting you 
into this. I'm inviting you to participate in an experiential course that will help you comprehend and integrate at a phenomenal rate and in the most effective way I have to date. What I'm going to ask you to do, if you're liking the sound of this, is to make sure that you find the link and you book a call with us because we will then explain to you the process. You can also look at the Fearless, Loved Up and Free to Be Me program content. Just remember, it's going to be delivered in a different way. It's all going to be delivered live. There'll be some content in between. When you think about how much it costs, well, what I'm going to say is consider how much a really lovely family holiday would cost. And that family holiday is going to give you some beautiful memories to look back on. It's also going to give you some photos to look back on. Well, for that similar price, you're basically looking at upgrading your whole platform. OK, you're looking at upgrading your life from adrenaline based to oxytocin based so that you are constantly refueling from your higher self rather than your ego programming. You're changing history and the future. You're creating a legacy for the future descendants of all of humanity that doesn't need to keep bringing forward the intergenerational trauma that we haven't cleared up yet. That's the invitation. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. There's quite a few graduates in the program already here at this present time. So, you know, I just invite you to step forward if you're feeling it, because I don't know what I'm doing after that. In case you haven't actually heard, I'm moving into the process of creating some movies. I'm going to be a little bit busy with that. Um, haven't done badly. We're only at 35 bars. So if you're already on your soul path, it's going to amplify it. OK, it's going to really help you get clear on how to have the mo how to share your gifts in this world in the most graceful, easy and joyful way. If you're not yet clear on what your path is, whether that's being a mum, getting married, starting a business, working for some, whatever your, your path, your your chosen soul destiny is, it will make it clear for you. Some of the examples I've been hearing from my clients recently, like one of my clients has literally just graduated. She's a GP. She's earning more now. She's decided to work part time. She's upped her rate. So she asked for more money. So now she's getting for three days what she was getting for four. And now she's also doing what she loves to do, which is a, a, a way of performing. I'm not going to go into the details. And she's earning more from that per hour than her actual work as a GP. She's done that since she's been on this course. OK, it's phenomenal what is possible. Not everyone wants to go right up there, but stabilizing at the frequency that you feel you love your life it's great being you and just when you think life can't get any better anymore it does that's what we're talking about all right so i'll stop banging on and i'm going to bring this uh well i'll call it an energy update to a close and what i'm going to say is that if you can take everything we have just been talking about and bring this now into what we're actually going to be co-creating together. I'm going to start the next video. So we're going to go into the co-creation meditation. I want you to please just take a moment to imagine. What does co-creating the highest good mean to you right now? Is that a concept that is scary? Is it a concept that excites you? What do you feel the highest good would be from where I'm teaching from where I'm sharing the highest good of all is what creates the win-win-win in everything so you're intending the best for yourself for the others involved and for the collective at large doesn't mean everyone's going to have an amazing time but they're going to get the lessons that they need to learn in order to progress their soul consciousness so if you are willing to surrender your desires whatever you want claim it allow it I am the author of my own story. I want to have the experience of a divine sacred union. I wanted that more than anything. Claim it. I want a man who's going to look after me, going to basically make me feel like I'm taken care of because I've spent my whole life feeling like I'm not taken care of. I had to choose that, bring that into my energy field and at the same time surrender it to the highest good of all and the win, win, win. That means I didn't go, it has to be him, and that's the only person that will do. I've surrendered to the perfect person coming to me that could resonate at the vibration that I wanted to experience. So there is both commanding and surrendering that command. So how do you feel about surrendering to the highest good of all? How do you feel about consciously choosing to co-create the highest good? And how do you feel about choosing to trust your inner authority, to learn to work with it, 
so that you truly are the author of your own story. This is my book. I write a new chapter in it whenever I want to change the story. Powerful work. Let's get ready for our co-creation. So I'm just going to say to everybody, if you're on YouTube, thanks for liking, subscribing and hitting the notifications tab. Please head over to Facebook and get into the group. Star Peace, Seeding the New Earth Narrative. And if you are, well, either way, do that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to now lead into the transmission. Oh, we've got Dana coming in. Perfect timing. 